number of so-called foreign databases on Xinjiang issues have been proven to be full of outright lies and purely political in nature. These databases have been fabricated by anti-China forces. Xinjiang Data Project is established by Australian Strategic Policy Institute, an anti-China think tank funded by the US government and weapon makers. Uyghur Transitional Justice Database is established by a branch of the World Uyghur Congress, supported by the National Endowment for Democracy, an organization backed by the US government. Xinjiang Victim Database is established by anti-China figures such as Jean Bin and Darren Byler received funding from countries including the US and Australia. 1,342 out of the 12,050 people included in these databases do not exist. Among the rest 10,708 people, 65% live normal lives, 30% are sentenced for criminal acts, 2% died of causes such as illness, 3% live abroad. Among the 380 so-called newly built detention centers in Xinjiang, 343 are found to be schools, and administrative institutions, hospitals, residential compounds and shops, accounting for 90% of the total claim sites. These databases use four major tactics to create sensational and headline-worthy material. Didn't just rape. They were barbaric. They had beaten all over my body. They had an electric baton. It was pushed into my private parts, and I was tormented with electric shocks. On February 4, 2021, an independent political blog website, Alabama Moon, made a list of the conditions she made when taking interviews with Western media. Last February, when interviewed by BuzzFeed of America, she said clearly, I was never beaten or tortured. But in BBC's report, she described in details stories of extremely cruelty. Ruchung 我是库彻市人民医院小贺科的主治医生
问题呢，我就先看这个病人的这个病例，就这个病人说，呃，了解病人的基本指标，然后过去扫房。我们当接到了没事？